And same question to Mr. Johnson. Who should be responsible for bringing cuts to the table? Individual board members or the superintendent? Well, I certainly think that the superintendent is probably in a much better position to recommend those. Um, although the board members, and we have a, an extremely educated board, uh, they're not dealing with it on a day-to-day -day basis as the superintendent is and his staff is. They're intimately involved in the day-to-day -day operations. They know what's going on within the budget. Uh, I think the, the superintendent is probably the better person and or his staff to bring those recommendations to the board. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that the board shouldn't do their own independent research and bring uh, recommendations, as Mr. King has done in the past. Uh, we have gone out, this, the school district has gone out, uh, particularly with the focus groups that were initiated uh, at each of the high schools this year. Um, unfortunately, I missed the last one, but I was at the first two. And there were uh, unbelievable suggestions that were being brought forth by the members of the community at large. Uh, I wouldn't uh, be opposed to having some type of perhaps a standing committee that would act as a go-between between, between the, the residents of the city and the superintendent's office, uh, that they can bring uh, suggestions and recommendations for budget cuts to the board. Uh, uh, I think that's about it.